What's up my people, it's your boy and I'm back. Uh, I have another video for you today. This is another unboxing. Um, and this is of Days Gone Collector's Edition. Uh, so we're going to go over each thing that's inside the box. Uh, what comes with it and everything. Um, so this is the box that holds the box. Um, this is the outer box. It gives you details on what's inside and everything. Uh, just like a normal game case, pretty much. Um, so you have the front with the PlayStation logo. The game logo, pretty pretty much this is the front of the game box of this regular edition. Um, the actual case, game case. You have the studio name and the rating. And the image is actually stretched more to the uh, size to give you more of an image. A really cool image. Um, it's not stretched to the back, but it's a different image. It tells you exactly what's inside. Tells you all your information, how many players, all that stuff, all that good stuff. Sorry, I have a second turning. Um, here's another image of the other side of the box. This is from the front image that wraps around. So that's pretty much the box that everything comes inside of. The top has a different image. The, bo the bottom doesn't. The bottom is just blue. So we're going to throw that down. This is the box that has the actual game in it. You have the logo on the top. This is a very nice box. A thick, thick uh, material. Very nice box. Holds together very well. You have a, I guess it's called like a decal, which is pretty cool. Nothing really on the side. I don't think there's anything on the bottom. Yeah, there's nothing on the bottom. The back is the same as the front. And the side is the same as the other side, of course. So that's pretty much it. I already took everything out of the box. It makes it easier. So one of the first things you see is actually, it's actually this advertisement, which I just grabbed. Pretty much stating that the miniature art book contains spoilers and do not open it until you finish the game. Um, so, yeah. So I'm probably not going to open it if you want me to open it in another video and go through it. I will, or I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, edit it into this video later i don't know um, whatever anyway so the other stuff inside is your steel case and your regular game so steel case doesn't really have much in it it does have a disc inside but it's not the game it's actually the soundtrack on cd um which is pretty cool I like when they give a physical CD rather than a digital code because then I can download it, put it on my thing. I won't lose the CD rather than the uh, digital code or if I buy it. Um, but it has the decal on the back, has the same kind of um, feel as the uh, as the box that it comes in. A little bit of a emboss, deboss kind of thing going on. Logo on the front, on the spine. I don't know why it doesn't focus quick, but okay. There we go. This is the actual game case that you would get from the store. Normal standard edition. Uh, pretty much shows everything on the back. On the inside comes your game and all your downloadable content, such as the Monkey Wrench skill, uh, early unlock, three bike skins, digital original music. So you can get the digital music with it. Uh, digital mini art book, so pretty much you get both of the. If you got the collector's editions, you get both the digital and the physical versions of those. Um, Deacon versus the Horde dynamic theme. So that's pretty cool. And I always like dynamic themes; they're pretty cool. I wish dynamic themes were always like free, and they just gave them away. Um, the next thing is actually this. Uh, these are decals, which are basically those like water tattoos that everybody used as a kid you know you put it on your uh, wherever you want to put it and then you put a uh, like a damp paper towel on top and it pretty much just puts the ink on, on the top not even ink but like um whatever it is uh pretty much just a fast apply tattoo basically and a patch that you can sew onto something like a hat or a jacket or whatever you want really um the next thing is the mini art book um which is pretty cool. Shows the character on the front. The Art of Days Gone. The Art of Days Gone is by Dark Horse. 
and it shows the picture that's I think used for the front of the uh, of the box. This is the whole image. This isn't the um, the smaller version of the image, which is used for the case, but for the actual box. So that uh, is the art book. I'm not gonna go into it. This is pretty cool. Um, they took some of the decals and things and they pretty much made them into pins. So you have six different little pins, um, high quality pins. So you have the one decal that's on the box. You have actually a couple different decals, a motorbike or motorcycle. Uh, I'm guessing that's a raven or a crow, probably a raven. Um, some type of weird looking skull thing that's like a moon that's coming over a lake, I guess. I don't, I don't know. You have the logo of the company that made the game, that developed the game. And you have a axe with the logo of the game on it, or a double-sided axe thing. So that's pretty cool. You can put those on, like, hats or whatever, things like that. And the final piece of this collector's edition is the statue, which most collector's editions usually come with. And this statue shows the main character of the game sitting in, uh, sitting against his motorcycle uh, on, a, I guess, a dirt road, which it looks like, uh, yeah, dirt road um, with, like, newspapers on the ground and different papers on the ground. And it also shows he ran over a zombie and shot it in the head. Um, it's a pretty nice statue, very detailed from the side. From the other side, from the back, you have like a little plant, um, kickstand. So that's pretty cool. And that's everything that comes inside the, uh, that's everything, right? Yeah. That's everything that comes inside the box. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.